so welcome back to this is second video of react router so this is what we in the last video this is what we we what we done have done and and today video we're going to continue to um, finish the 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 or maybe finish the app that the, the, this one right here we, we have lock in we have dashboard we have lockout and something like that all right so for start, I need to start my time watch to record how many minutes I'm doing this one. I want to keep my video at least 12 to 15 minutes. Alright, so now we have done it already, this one, this one already. So I, I'm, I'm going to style this one a little bit so it doesn't look ugly. So let's go into here. Alright, so now for, I'm using Bootstrap so you can, uh, if you don't like. You can skip ahead, but please watch it. Um, <laughs> you know, okay. Now, but I'm, I'm I'm gonna make this fast. How about that and then bitchy that. No error, please. No error. I think I'm typed correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So and then I'm gonna wrap this one with a class of container. And then I'm gonna put it right here. Cool. And in here, we need to call it class name is equal to now bar now. Now bar now. Right, let's see. Alright, good. So this one is class name. Um, item. Uh, oh, oh no. Yeah. And now bar brand. Yeah, we want to have one brand and oh no no no. Now items. And then I'm gonna copy this one. All right, I'm gonna make this thing first. And then we have a uh, class name equal to now link. Actually, we can just need two of this one. Is it so? All right, cool. So we need one more. I'm gonna actually uh, get rid of this one, and we. I'm going to put the uh, ally and uh, no, no, link to home slash. So I'm gonna put the image right here source equal to logo they like the my image so great no it's self closing alt equal i'm not doing anything with this one all right so i'm gonna give a class name to uh, equal to now bar brand Great. Voila. Beautiful. 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 Okay. So next we need to. Alright. So what is. What are we going to do next? Um. Wait. I need to put this one. I need to make it beautiful. Not really beautiful, but just beautiful. Okay. It's raining here right now. And maybe you have heard some noise, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now we need to access the parameter that passed to this about. Let's see if I go to about and then I slash 123, I want to get this number that from this about right here. So let's see how we can do it. So in order to do that and go to about, I'm going to the slash and plus ID. Yeah just like that and in a bar component I can have a prop that call much and I'm using this structuring here and then I'm gonna use to h2 uh, user ID equal to much dot params um, here you guys can see it params dot ID so now yeah it's well 
but if I go to a bar, please not that. Yeah. And this is it. So yeah. Oh. Is that good? Alright. So we almost finished. So next we need to go I need to check this one. Alright, five minutes, good. To build the lock in and lock out and actually just protect the route first. How are we going to build the uh, protect route dashboard right here? Hmm. So in order to do that we need so we need to create our route component. So here we not found component. I actually create one more. I call it private route. That this private route is going to have some property exactly the same as the other. So alright, so then we going to call the component equal to private route. Private route. Alright, is this and then we need to have a pass. What pass do we want to this to private? Let's say go to dashboard. Uh, actually not private route. We'll actually call it like the alright, let's call it private route. Not a component, we can call component dashboard, not a component private route. I call it component dashboard. Uh, dashboard. Okay, so and we need to I need to do exact this one. Alright, so that's it. And then I need to create a component dashboard first. The dashboard component. If I mean, like you, you, sh you should have like create another function outside this one, but I find this one a little bit easy to show you guys. So that's why I keep this one. All right, H1 uh, dashboard. Great. So let's see. Right, this is the real one. private route is not defined. Yeah, we not create private route yet. So let's actually um, create build it. So it's this private route is really important. So uh, uh, private route. So I'm gonna call cons uh, private route is going to be equal to so we actually gonna pass different component to this one like this is uh, we're gonna destructuring first we need a uh, component uh, and then oh how can I can just spell component component and also one more is the rest trust me I don't know what the hell is this hap what's going on you can judge me but I read documentation I follow it and and it's work so yeah I use it and it works so <laughs> so we're going to return route yeah maybe I, I'm sorry to say that but this is true actually true but yeah no offense no hard feeling <laughs> alright cool so then we need to use the rest that we got. So basically the rest right here you cannot put it in front. Rest should be the last one. Remember rest should be the last one. If you put it outside there will be a problem. So we need to render this one. Uh huh. So we got some problem. Oh. It's, it, it is not. So then we need to render props about this props just props um so we need to see that if it so I'm gonna make the os here a little later so I mean like is it os I mean like we check it like it's authenticate if it authenticate we let the user uh, see the component this component but it's not so I will show you what is happening here. If it us, so we're going to run the component. A component, a props. Yeah. Com 
component props we need to spread props right but l if it's not if it's not true so if it's not auth we run the component uh we not the run the component we redirect redirect the user to the path that we want to go so i'm actually going to redirect to pass home so pass name equal to home pass name slots great so i want to when this is happening i want to return the auth to to to, to the home so what is auth here so good so then i need to use the state to fake the user so i'm gonna fake the user login con auth equal to set auth equal to use state uh huh use state i'm gonna set it to form and we need to import it as well use state uh use state okay cool so now we need to pass this auth to the to this one then when the private receive the auth we cannot put the auth in front of the rest so we need to put it back so that now it's it's working I, yeah so let's go back to this one yeah so you see it's it's working right now but so oops if I go to home, if I go to slash dashboard, dashboard, it doesn't have page page. Does uh, uh, dashboard path exactly? Be, I think I'm spell wrong. Mm, all right, so let's actually set it to true. So it mean we are authenticate, right? So it means so I'm gonna create a link to dashboard here, one more link, and then I'm gonna call it to dashboard and post dashboard. I'm gonna copy this one. Maybe I'm spell it wrong right here. I'm sorry. Okay. So I think this should work and oops what uh, did I do you go to about dashboard yeah why it show page not found hmm interesting interesting I think I should put this one on the bottom and then yeah there you go dashboard and this one right here cool how many minutes now? Oh, 12 minutes. Okay, I think <laughs> this is how we protect a route of a route, right? This is how we protect of a route. So if I set the this one to fall, so we mean we are not authenticate. If we go to click the dashboard, it's nothing happened, and we shouldn't have to show this one to the user as well. So let's see how many minutes. Oh, two minutes left. So I can. Use a uh, create a function display. Function display. <laughs> yeah, it's just for the style. Display. It's going to return the style of display. It's auth. Then I'm gonna to display block. L display none. So we need to pass the auth right here. Great. So where is that one? Okay, this one is die equal to display, and then I'm gonna put off right here. Great. So you now you can see it's off. The, the the dashboard is gone. If I change this one to true, then it's back. Voila! It's great. So I mean you authenticate. So I think that's it for this video and in the next video we're going to add the button to toggle the lock-in and the lock-out and just like this one and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get to see me in the next video please.
Alright, goodbye. Thank you. See you.